Hi, have you ever considered what a recursion is and how to program it? If so, you're in the right place. My name is Vlad. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will talk about recursion. I will show you how its mathematical formulation looks like, and then I will program the most famous recursion example that is the Fibonacci series in Python language. So join me and let's start. Okay, let's move to my whiteboard. Awesome. So we are talking about recursion. In a nutshell, recursion is a method of defining usually a function or, or a sequence of number in terms of its previous values. For example, consider the sequence a n where a of 0 is equal to 1 and a n is defined as 2 times a n minus 1 the previous value of the sequence so how a of 1 is looks like so it's 2 times a 0 equal to 2 times 1 a2 equal then 2 times a1 that is 2 by 2 and it's equal 4 this sequence is well known in its closed form that is a of n equal 2 in the power of n nice Let's move on to Fibonacci series. So Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician that uh, came up with uh, this uh, sequence where the nth element is equal to the nth minus 1 element plus n minus 2 element. Let's find out how does it look. Moving back to the whiteboard okay let me clean this up okay so commonly a Fibonacci sequence is donated with a capital F so F of n is equal to F of n minus 1 plus F of n minus 2 the initial condition f0 and f1 is equal to 1. So f of 2 is f of 0 plus f of 1, that is 1 plus 1. f of 3 is equal to f of 2 plus f of 1, that equal to 2 plus 1 that's equal to 3 and so on and so forth okay let's go this up moving to my Jupyter notebook let's import e import numpy as np to begin with I will implement the Fibonacci sequence in an uh, inductive way that is with a simple for loop and afterwards I will move on and show you how to implement a recursive function so let's go so def Fibo with parameter n so if n equal 1 or n equal 2 sorry if n equal 0 and n equal 1 return 1 otherwise let's define f of 0 equal 1 f of 1 equal 1 also and f of n 
is equal to f1 plus f0 for i in range n minus 1 f of n let's just copy it paste it over here f of n equal f1 plus f0 f0 is equal to f1 and f1 is equal to fn in that way with each iteration i am updating the uh, the current sequence with two previous values and at the end return f of n return f of n okay cool let's test it for i in range 10 print i and FIBO of i let's run it okay so f of 0 is 1 f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 1 plus 1 is 2 f of 3 is 2 plus 1 is 3 f of 4 is 3 plus 2 is 5 f of 5 is 5 plus 3 it's 8 and so on and so forth cool now let's move on and I will show you how to implement a recursive function back to our notebook so I will leave it as it is okay so def fibo rec with parameter n if n equal equal 1 or n equal equal 0 then return 1 otherwise and this is the recursion return FIBO rec of n minus 1 plus FIBO rec of n minus 2 and let's say or I think it will be more safe to do n less equal than 1 okay that's much more safe so let's copy it and paste the same test and run it okay so f of 0 is 1, f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 1 plus 1 is 2, f of 3. Oh, I think this will be better. Let's do something like that. No. It's formatted. It is much better. This is redundant. Much better. Awesome. Okay, so this was the Fibonacci sequence, the recursion. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, please leave a comment below to let me know whether part two should include the golden ratio topic. Thank you. Bye bye.